it's brilliant how in life we just look for things and look for people, places, stuff that will fulfill our longing for completeness, for satisfaction, for fulfillment. And I, when I look back at my life before coming across this amazing training, my life was really based on that. I was looking for the nature of mind or the, the fulfillment that I was looking for in all, all kinds of places. I did so many things. I read so many books. I did crazy stuff and normal stuff in order to arrive to the sense of completeness and satisfaction. And I gathered along the way so much information about things like the meaning of life or the meaning of love and what does it mean and I learned so many concepts. So basically by the age that I came to to meet the Balanced View training I was with a heavy load of dictionaries on my head. You know how you see sometimes people dancing with all these things on their head? So I had dictionaries defining everything. This feeling, that sensation, that emotion, that thought and and try to make sense out of the world and when I couldn't I look up to the dictionaries and read really rigor rigorously in order to achieve some kind of understanding. And this motivation is nothing bad, you know, that's what leads us to here, for example, because we are looking in everywhere and thinking that maybe our fulfillment lies in an intimate partner, for example. I remember since I was like, I don't know, 14 or 15, suddenly going out and, and looking at, at going out. And then I felt like I have such a task. I need to be aware because maybe the love of my life will be there just drinking beer next to me. And I will be like, <laughs> so uh, already there was a mission, you know, innocent, <laughs> kind of innocent, <laughs> just going out and like, Okay, be aware, good looking, I need to be aware of how I look, how I speak, how I stand, how I, you know, behave, because the love of my life might be just there, you know, <laughs> like in the Bollywood movie I watched yesterday, so <laughs> already there was tension, I was supposed to go out to relax, but already, already I was tense, so I needed to drink more in order to relax, and then I was like, ah. <laughs> And this didn't cont <laughs> stop when I was 15, actually. It continued on with more refined ways of behaving and using my speech in order to not miss out, basically, the fear of missing out. The one who will save me out of my misery. Because that's how relationship is, right? You know, it's always positive thoughts and emotions. <laughs> and, and you're always the best couple. And it, and it stays for maybe like two weeks or three weeks and if you're lucky maybe four weeks and then suddenly maybe that's not the right one I fell in love with them and then suddenly I loved everyone the beggars in the street I gave them money freely and I called my parents every day because I was so in love you know all of this stuff because I thought okay I found the love of my life and that's it that's where my fulfillment that's where my stability and I placed all of this responsibility on a poor person, <laughs> my partner, and they needed to sort all my stuff out. And that, that's a heavy duty thing to do. And of course we do it because we think that that's, I just gave one example for love and relationship. So I, I definitely was lost in this data stream. And, and then there's disappointment because it's not the partner who saves you out of your misery. Uh, it's not their responsibility. It's also not your parents' responsibility. That was really refreshing for me to hear in Balanced View. That it's not my parents who are to blame for my negative thoughts and emotions. Huh? What do you mean by that? <laughs> I was so convinced because I read and I heard, you know, it's because of that. And because of that, that's why you feel in a certain way. Anyway, a mess. <laughs> And I don't like mess, so I was continuing to look and search and, and uh, I came across the Balanced View training where I received a proper introduction to the nature of mind. Proper because it's bare, naked, direct, and it's for those who are completely open and are ready to give up the right to be a victim of constantly looking for fulfillment and satisfaction in all the wrong places, outside of ourselves, or somewhere deep inside of ourselves. I also looked in that, not just outside, 
it's in my heart, it's in my subconscious, it's in my spine. And constantly I was looking for that. I was a bit <laughs> jet lagged already <laughs> by all the looking and searching. So just to know that what's looking is alwe already present. The nature of our mind is pristine and vast like clear blue sky. Stop thinking for a moment. What remains? Alertness, cognizance, clarity, the power to know. This is our intelligence. This is open intelligence. Never affected by which kind of data streams we have, thoughts, emotions, sensations, and other experiences. So if we really want to find stability, fulfillment, satisfaction, it's in open intelligence, which is inseparable from all these thoughts, emotions, and sensations, the data streams. They are not two things. So you see, the, the data streams and open intelligence are like the color blue in the sky. You cannot separate the color blue from the sky. Open intelligence is the ground, the essence of all of our data. If we focus our life on trying to find this best data that we have, whether it's in ourselves or outside of ourselves, and grab it, we will fail forever. Because there will be moments when great insights come about, especially after completing the 12 empowerments. And I remember it very well, because I had an insight and I thought, this is it. <laughs> Let's write to my trainer, I got it, done, don't need short moments anymore, which is the practice of Balance View, short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times until it becomes continuous, we get used and accustomed to, accustomed to the natural presence of open intelligence, stable and clear and alert in every moment, no matter what we think and feel. So anyway, I had this great insight. And I try to lock it <laughs> and keep it in my backpack. So any time that a negative data will come up, then I can just pull it up and say, ha, th there you go. Disappointment, because I found the love of my life. She was just there drinking coconut next to me. And I did the, you know, the Bollywood twink. And <laughs> but she walked away or looked on our phone and boom. Suddenly all the disappointment data comes up and I'm such a loser, I'm not attractive, I'm not this, I'm not that. It's always been like that. Why? I'm, oh, I need to move away from Goa. I need not to drink coconuts anymore. You see, there's so much hope and fear, so much hope and fear that it seems that the day can be ruined by someone who just maybe received a message from their mother. <laughs> but m in my mind, I already built a whole story and it's a sad one. <laughs> And it brings all the rejection of in the past and oh, no, 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 you know. What to do with that? A short moment of open intelligence. Once you've completed the 12 empowerments, you will have millions of insights like you share. Don't try to hold on to them. Each one opens up this inexhaustible vastness of sky in a beautiful way. And they will come again and again and more will come always fresh and new. So we are not speaking about the state of mind that flawed individuals need to effort to reach to. And this is many of the things I've done in the past was, hey, you flawed one, improve yourself by doing this, that, and the other thing. Clean your mind, clear your thoughts, don't have negative thoughts, sit straight, uh, eat only bananas and, and coconuts, sorry. <laughs> That's the theme of today. So... <laughs> Or whatever it is, only think positive thoughts, for example. Only do this and that and the other thing, and then you'll feel happy, maybe. Can't guarantee, but try. <laughs> so all of that, we think that we will reach a state of mind that is not what's happening right now. And I was constantly efforting for that. I wanted to have a different state of mind. And once I reach that state of mind, I want to have it forever. <laughs> never to be lost again. Only positive thoughts. I remember many times in India, I reached that state of like, wow, I love everyone. I have the best thoughts and emotions in the universe. I got it and that's it. And after a moment, it disappeared and I felt like I fell from the highest mountain and crushed down to the floor, ground, completely broken and needing again to effort. So that was um, very confusing. 
the basic state of open intelligence is always on. So if you are looking for purpose and meaning and stability and true genuine love that does not depend on anyone or anything, take a short moment of complete relaxation. I had no idea what the purpose of life is. When I met Candice, then it started to become clear to me that, oh, okay, being of benefit to all, it's not about efforting to fix myself for the rest of my life. It can't be like that. I was so fed up with that. I didn't want to try anything more. And before com doing the 12 Empowerments of Balanced Year, which is an incredible training, I told myself, this will be the last thing that I try in terms of education in the nature of mind. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to work in an office from 9 to 5 and, and wait for something else. But I'm not trying anymore. I, was, I had enough of that. So suddenly to be introduced to the power, beneficial power of open intelligence, inseparable from all of my thoughts, emotions and sensations, that freed me up and freed up my energy to actually be of benefit. What does it mean to be of benefit to all? Not contrived and spontaneous compassion and benefit, where we think that we must act or do good, otherwise we will go to a really bad place after we die. But actually the moment-to-moment -moment recognition of what unites us all as human beings, the power to be of benefit. When all the focus goes to our body and our thoughts and emotions and sensations and labeling them in a certain way, we are not available to be of benefit. We are focused on, uh, on the project of fixing oneself, trying to feel in a certain way. My experience of relying on open intelligence for short moments many times and gaining confidence, gradual confidence in that, is that I feel much more than I felt before actually like that because in the past when I had things that I fo thought will break me up to pieces and will not you know will take me down like anxiety in the morning or depression or sadness I was like immediately antidoting it with another thing like analyzing it what's the source of it where does it come from how can I fix it how can I, who's to blame and so on or trying to replace it with a, a positive one or trying to uh, avoid it, not to feel it at all. So, so many antidotes, but letting everything be as it is for short moments many times, we actually face everything fully and for the benefit of all. Because what you feel that seems so personal and only you, only me, suddenly we see in the community of this bright, bright intelligence that actually everyone feels the same. We all have constantly changing data streams. See it in your own experience right now. How many thoughts and emotions you have. If you focus on labeling them, giving them meaning that they don't have, giving them an independent nature, it's hard to relax. If we rest body and mind for a short moment, then we are empowered. A beautiful phenomena that happens when we rely on open intelligence that suddenly everyone starts to look amazing. And everyone is lovely in the core. You can really see the, the beauty and power and potential in everyone. And, and it's an experience I never had before. Before I could only feel this inexhaustible love to members of my family, to the partner and to my cat and to my nieces. And that's it. <laughs> and occasionally to, to some other people. But to feel it to, for everyone genuinely that gives even more discernment because otherwise if I needed to act on this love feeling for everyone then I wouldn't be available <laughs> to, to be here because I would be actively <coughs> active and <laughs> doing things in order to fulfill this sense of, of needing but with the discernment that comes about of open intelligence then we know when we want to be with someone and if this someone will support us really in what we are most passionate about. So this clarity of mind is always on rather than jumping from one place to another. And it's obvious in the way you ask your question that this is what you see. And resting there inseparably, this love power just continues to expand and expand and expand. Grounded in the benefit of all, grounded in reality as it is. Nothing about us needs to change. Nothing about us needs to change. That's amazing.
Everything about us is naturally perfect. Living human life is like living on an island of gold, where everything is gold. What, what seemed before as a monster, as an enemy, something we need to get rid of, suddenly is shining with the potency and power of open intelligence. And this is gaining confidence and having complete assurance in open intelligence as it is, not thinking about it, but actually practicing it with everything that comes up.